Hello. Good evening. We are going to play some more Death's Door. Hopefully finishing it tonight. If not, I'll polish it off tomorrow and then we'll start Horizon Forbidden West. Very excited. Um, I also made the conscious decision to lock my cat in my room with me. So um, there's a pretty high likelihood that at some point I'm going to like jump up and be like, no, get off the, get off there. Stop eating my plants. Dave, hello. 64%. I, I, man. Okay. All right. Not, not very far, apparently. It feels like we're almost done with the game, though. There's probably, that's accounting for a lot of optional stuff that I missed. But, so in the last stream, we figured out the area that we missed, uh, which was the Frog King, and we went and did his whole thing. We did his whole area and the boss fight. And we ended before coming back here to Betty. We're gonna reattempt the Betty fight now. We've got a little bit more power under our belt. Not like a lot, but a little bit. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't really have a, have a strong plan. I have to... No! Uh. There we go. Woo! No! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this, this guy's hard. I know, Dave, it's been so long. It's been forever. How was your day? Are you having a nice weekend? I'm having a super productive day, actually. This morning I woke up and I did some video editing for YouTube. Uh, and then I... Uh, I packaged up some chili that I made last night. So I had that going in the crock pot. I went to the gym. Came back from the gym. D&D. &D. Now I'm streaming. I did laundry, too. I just, I did every chore necessary this weekend, all at once. Uh, also, I'm gonna have to restart this attempt because it was, it was so bad. Come get me. No, don't worry, Allie. I did everything today so that tomorrow and Monday, I will only play video games. That is my whole, that was, that was my whole reasoning for being on top of shit today. Woo, I can't believe that didn't hit me. Having the increased speed here helps a lot. Oh, uh, except there. there. I'm... Ooh, I'm getting some, some good damage, though. Like, I'm already doing way better than I did last stream when I attempted this. Woof. Crawled out of bed in time for D&D. &D. I, yeah. Well, it, 
if it makes you feel better, I was like so brain dead at the very start that um, I, I didn't actually remember what was happening. It took me like 15 minutes to kind of like, what? What? Ellie, come here. She says no. Oh, God damn it. For sure, I was gonna get him there. Oh, fuck. Damn. It is two for me. Yeah, for me too, Dave. It is one of my weekly highlights. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. No, rude. Get get me out. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Damn it. British, hello. Oh no. A smashing time. Oh god. <laughs> British, you would like this. In uh in my D and D campaign that we're doing right now, there is a um a piece of jewelry that one of us wears. And, uh, if anyone tells a pun within, like, 20 feet, that person gets inspiration, but everyone else takes a d4 of damage. Damn it. Let's start over. This is a bad, bad attempt. Yeah, practice run. Exactly. Oh, what? Bullshit. Bullshit. Garbage. God damn it. All right. Okay, uh, everybody in chat, please take a D4 of damage. Thank you. <laughs> I got a four. That's very apropos, Dave. <laughs> Sad sad bear. British is like, my puns are only meant for good. <laughs> the 
subscribe to the channel. I don't know how it, how to how I would do that, but yes, I want it. No. If we can figure out a good way pun roll. Yeah, yeah, we could do that and then it's like a random 1 to 4. We could add a we I mean, we could do a pun counter, but that requires people keeping up with it. You'd break a record, yeah. Oh man, if if I really wanted to commit to the bit, I would do like each person has a set number of points and it would be health points. And if you take too many uh, points of damage, you get banned from the channel. <laughs> you, have to, you have to make a new Twitch profile to come back. I would never do that, but it would be hilarious. Like, oh, you died from all the puns. Don't, don't blame me, blame chat. Or timeout, yeah. You have to re-roll your character. British, you're out. You're like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Super fiddly to set up. Every death is a one minute timeout. Everyone has 10 HP. I, I bet that wouldn't be too hard to do. I bet I could do that in stream elements. Woo. Wait, really? That was easy. I probably could have done that without leveling up. I thought I thought I was like halfway done maybe. GG. You'll take chances in getting kicked all over on Assassin's Creed. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamed beast, and to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. I feel bad. I feel bad that we killed the... Killed Betty. I'm sorry. Wake up. Wake up. I take it back. A reaper. Yeah, but the Yeti was helping people. Another demonic soul's anger quelled, Reaper. May they find peace in death. Thought she was sink. I can't. What an incredible adventure this has been, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same. Amazing. That means the drunken guy, the stranded sailor, he was in love with the Beast. Whoa. I kind of feel bad for both of them now. Dead or heartbroken, which do you think is worse? They're both kind of tragic. 
Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm gonna start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Alright, we gotta go back at some point. No, I know. Yeah, no, I, I know. But I also saw it of down as in, like, down feathers for a blanket, and then the the local birds were using the Yeti's, like, down coat for their beds. So that's why I thought of that. That's why I was like, to a pun. Um... Well, cool. We could just take the... Probably should just take this door to go back to our... our homeland. Oh, poor Betty. If I get into trouble for this, I'm not going to be happy with you. Look at all our stuff at our desk. My little friend got into my ink supply. The poor dear. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Oh my god, look at it. That's so cute. I wish I could zoom in. I cannot. How many souls do I have? Welcome to the soul vault. 1300. I actually do have enough to upgrade something. Let's do strength again. We're gonna be the strongest bird in the land. Also, no, I have been there. Is the death's door? That's the question. I'm trying to remember, like, where it is. Because I think it is in this area, isn't it? I can find. How's Valhalla? You're liking it more... Uh, you think getting the hang of fighting mechanics. Nice. Glad you're enjoying it. Finally getting into a romance. Ooh. Oh, hey, we know how to, how to do these secret doors now. Yeah. Where is this taking us? Heck yeah. Love that. Ah, this is it. Haha, <laughs> I did. I, I'm glad that I remembered that properly. You did it. You're a much stronger Reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It is time at long last. Let us force the store open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. <laughs> I liked any RPG game. This is cool. And now, to the other side.
This is it. This is the place beyond. Where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Death! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Are you Death? I thought tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the free crows. Uh, well, I, I guess that's me. So, if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? I, uh, no, um, sorry, we're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us? Wow, rude. But, alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's, uh, uh, your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into an ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care. But for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary. It's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being uh, could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead. A lighthouse on the shores of the Aether. If you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If soul sticks around too long past their expiry date, then with, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives, each one agreeing in the end to submit to their limitations of life and go willingly into the Aether. Until one didn't. Oh, shit. Which brings us to your current lord of doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, that the doors had malfunctioned and needed to be rema uh, remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it required the touch of death to link the door to the Aether. But after this new door was created and opened, the lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the Aether. No death among the living. I like his little fanny pack. His little, or as, uh, as, as you would say, bum bag. I've been here, alone, ever since. Uh, but my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If soul comes through here without a body, it disappears into the aether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to, uh, has to end. So there's no hope? It must still be here somewhere. No, 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 no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. 
That since you're a little bit past your best before date. <laughs> Thank you for the translation. <laughs> you're very welcome. English to English. <laughs> uh, oh no. We got a demon crow. The gray crow. Oh shit, okay. Oh! Bye! Whoa, okay. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? That's too slow. When did he get arms? Do I Does my crow have arms? This is hard. This is crazy. It's weird because there's no bounds. No, no boundaries to try to stay within. Yeah, the, the music is so good in this game. dislike his little arms. Oh, shit. Yeah, you just just grew those grew those arms just now. <laughs> Freaky, don't like it. So remind you of a story your mother told told you she went to America to visit her family and someone told her she had a nice fanny. She was mortified and then I explained the guy meant over in England. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah, he does look like a hedgehog now. to go under him. Oh, God. Yikes. Going to the black hole. Oh, shit. Damn, this is hard. This one's really hard. Hedgehogs have flatmates? What do you mean? He's looking like Sonic. I was asking every time someone asks your character to go to bed, I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> I remember when I played Skyrim, I, I got married. I did that whole side quest. I thought it was pretty cute. Getting lunches packed. Uh. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. that I can use to get energy back. There we go. No! Okay, alright. It's fine. I'll get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Never turned any anyone down in Animal Crossing. Or not Animal Crossing, in Assassin's Creed. I got this. Thank you, Dave. Hedgehog wants to run over is flat. Can you imagine if you could romance the villagers in Animal Crossing? That'd be... that'd be crazy. You could, like, get one to move in with you. Oh, I thought I hit that. Whatever. He's so fast. He's so much faster than me now. What? into this stream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saw the abbreviation for Assassin's Creed, which is the same as Animal Crossing. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Like, look at what I've started, and I can't even read chat because I'm focusing on this boss battle.
Oh, come on. He is so fast. Damn it. Seven hundred collectibles. What the fuck? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So I think what I have to do is make sure, hey kitty cat, come here. Oh, no, okay. Um, the cat's just like circling my ankles, which isn't helping anything. But I think I have to make sure to always hit those flying crow heads because that's how I recharge. You'll get them all British? Oh my gosh. I, like, I don't have the patience for 100% in games and getting all collectibles and stuff. It's just too much for me. get extra charges. Shit. 
No! Damn. I was getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Ellie, are you trying to come up here? Are you trying to come up? Come here. No. Okay. She doesn't know. I, she, I know what she wants. She wants to go out. I will release her. I will release her. It must be rough being a cat, not being able to open doors. You have to just be a nuisance until someone else opens the door. It's a whole thing. You'll grab you'll grab uh, items in games if they're convenient, but not um, won't actively pursue it. It it depends on the game for me. There's some games that I've gone back to and like tried to do hundred percent. Um. But I usually get bored by the time I get to like 75%, and then I'm just like, eh, do I, I don't, I don't even know why I need this. I don't know why I want this. Classic cat business, exactly. It's goddamn cats. accidentally turned the volume up in my headphones. Hold on. There we go. It was like twice as loud. <laughs> Okay, that's just a bomb. I was like, can I destroy this or what? Take that little hedgehog bird. <laughs> oh my god. It really British? That's wild. That's I can't believe I don't know I mean I don't know the game, so but that just sounds crazy. Oh, thank you for the GG's. We do love our cats. Yeah, they're worth it. Alright, death. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, 
Anything. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of that in my job, but until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I never thought it'd apply to me. I'm sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling, even if it wasn't your intention. You've done me a huge favor. A uh, favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed and my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains, forging the door required a piece of my soul. I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Oh. Crazy. It's an, a game about an energy drink turning people into mutated monsters. That sounds... He's very old and rusted. Hmm. I wonder if we can get in here somehow. That, that sounds like a, a, a weird indie game. That exists. That <laughs> silence was everything. Oh boy, what's in here? I don't. I don't totally recognize this area. Oh, I do kind of recognize this. I wonder if we'll be able to do more here now that uh, we have a bunch of new abilities. Like, go in here? <gasps> we can upgrade our fireball! Finally! Finally, we can upgrade our fireball. I have a feeling this is like the first one we were supposed to find. Timing. Oh no! Oh, God damn it! God damn it! It's fine. We're we're just learning this boss. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get him on the, this next one. I I don't think this guy's gonna take a lot of time. Aaron, welcome in. It's been good. Doing well. How are you? I'm very much enjoying this game. I'm like, I'm really eager to get to Forbidden West, you know, but um, I am sad for this game to end. Because I have like, I've thoroughly enjoyed this. Like I could see myself picking this up on Switch just to play it again on a different platform. Yeah, this would be an awesome Switch game.
Stay out of this guy's way. Damn. Yeah, easy. Easy as pie. This guy was much easier than some of the others. Silent Servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your fireball now burns enemies for extra damage over time. Nice. Ah, oh, very nice. Love it. Assume I've been here. Yeah, burning damage. Ah, oh, so good. I'm not totally sure where I'm going right now. I think I'm just kind of winging it. Because I'm a crow. Hey, Allie gets inspiration. Dave takes a d4 of damage. <laughs> Allie wasn't offended by the pun. That's why. <laughs> oh, this is the gardens. I know where we are. I think we're actually 100% done with this area, so we'll just find a door and uh, skedaddle. Pretty sure I've been... I guess I haven't been through here, though. We got fours that did that... Oh, that opens this over here. Anything else back here that I should be aware of? It was good? Good. I'm glad. <laughs> I feel like most of my puns are pretty atrocious. So I try not to make them too often, because I'm like, is that even a pun, or does that not make any sense? Here we have our door. They're better than some. My fellow crows, we have arrived at a moment foretold long ago. Today, death's door has been opened and death themselves has been freed once more into the world. Fear not, for this is not the end of days, but the beginnings of a bright uh, new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for thousand years, and we crows played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs. We must accept our fates. We must reject those who led us into a future with no hope. It is time for the Lord of Doors reign to end, and for us to return to a natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these four spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin, and the world will teem with new life. For that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as uh, ordained. The crows that freed death will have to end the Lord of Dora's reign. Did you hear about the fruit company that had to sack their picker? He had to let the man go. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. And especially someone I won't name. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it.
Let's do it. Let's go get this fool. Where do we go? That looks important. Let's go down here first. Alright, nothing down here yet. You're next! Hello, sir. I'm here to kill you. I've been watching you, young crow. Never really thought it would come to this, yet here we are. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them, and trained to take over their duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day on which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted tyrant, obsessed with rules and order, how things had to be. The old fool never gave me a name. Can you believe that? How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? If every moment of your existence resolved, revolved around its ending? I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable, but I cannot just let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. So, young crow, are you ready to fight for your life as I am for mine? Oof. Also, my browser crashed. I think OBS is fine, though. I'm just going to refresh my browser. Yeah, all right. Well, that's fine. No! It's not fine. Also, this guy has, like, rainbow armor, and I am digging it. Oh, yeah. Burn! Oh. All the damage I'm doing is just to myself. What? weird okay very different fight sequence very different yeah i'll try again i should check how many souls i have i've got 1100 so i actually can upgrade um no oh wow and it saved my progress in the fight i don't think the game has ever done that before this must be a really long fight. Okay. Bridge, welcome in. Had to lurk for a while, but can chill for a bit. Well, you're welcome to lurk as much as you want or need. No, no, god damn it.
Oh, oh, whoops. All right, let's see. Did I save any progress? Starting the work week. Oh, man. Did you have a good weekend at least? Okay, just put me to here. Could be worse, could be worse. I'll eventually have that pattern memorized. Midweek weekend was awesome. Can't complain. Legend of Gregor 2 has been awesome. I really like that game. You're making me want to play it again. And I, I never finished it the first time, so I have, like, good reason to go back to it. Fuck. Shit. Damn. He's getting easier to dodge, though. His, like, other random door attacks. I'm, I'm getting better at dodging those, so... Depending on how long this fight is, I don't actually think it's that bad. You just have to learn the pattern. Like, you can just roll right through all those guys. Like, you don't actually have to panic. It's convenient to go around them if you are able to, but you don't have to. He moves so slow compared to the other bosses that I have to stop being greedy and take trying to go for extra hits. It's always there, I go down to one health just because I'm always doing a little bit more than I have to. Started up twice, kept getting distracted. No! No, ah, oh, damn it. Just, just kill me. I just, we're restarting. This is, this is too bad of a start. Rip. It's so dramatic every time.
instant suicide because it's a bad run. It's a legitimate technique. Shit. feels like cheating to just roll through them like that. Ah, oh, I thought I was far enough to the side. Damn it. Tart. Tart. It's a little hard. <sighs> Stretch. Oh, okay. Yo, Luffy. Yo, thank you so much for the raid. How is the rest of your stream? I'll say hi to everybody in just a- Oh god, fucking shit dicks. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Luffy, how you doing? Virus, welcome in. I hope that it was a lovely stream and everybody's having a good night. We are playing Death's Door. We're getting near the end of the game, so if you don't want crazy spoilers for Death's Door, feel free to jump out. No pressure. Marcus, hello. How you doing? Cult shit. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Such a good game. Love this one. I am adoring this game. Like, I want to get through it because I'm eager to start Horizon Forbidden West. But also, I'm just really enjoying it. Like, I... It's a, this is a great game. No, we have to restart. This is so bad. That was that was such a bad go. Such a bad attempt. <laughs> but uh I will be sad when this game is over. God damn it. Can I restart checkpoint? Just I've done this beginning area so many times that if I get damage right at the start, I just, I can't tolerate it. <laughs> we just, I need that health later. Yeah, just yeet, just, bird can't fly, it's its own fault, really. this one. We got this. We got this. I will not be overconfident. Just roll through them. Get out of the way. Roll through it. Roll through it. Go over. Just go out of the way. Roll through them. Roll through them. Roll through them. No, not that far! That's fine. We're still in a pretty good spot. Ooh, 
those like squiggle. Oh man, they don't go in a completely straight line. They're actually a little hard to dodge. Virus, it is tricky. Um, you have to get the timing right. Uh, I think you can't... There's, I think there's, like... Once you've paid to upgrade it once, um, I think then you can roll through stuff. Because I, I remember at the start of the game I couldn't, but I don't know if that was just because I was doing it wrong or what. All right, fine. Woo, did it. On, all on one health, we got this. Oh, I'm afraid. He's copying Betty. No, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Why? It's fine. That is unfair. That one was not fair. Unreal. At least we're getting good practice with that part. God damn it. Pyro, welcome in. How is your stream? Also, did we get a shout out for Luth? I th I think I saw it, but I've also been heavy in uh in um Yeah, I see Bridge got it. Yeah, you're on top of it. Thank you. Oh, we did it again. Hell yeah. Y'all should go follow Luffy if you don't already. And on top of that, you should go follow Pyro for some wonderful chill vibes with art and cool Nordic stories, mythology, that shenanigan, and then when you're in the mood for party city, Luffy's where you want to be. Basically every one of my mods has a wonderful stream. Oh, 
Who doesn't want a magic sword as their friend? <laughs> this lightsaber. Damn it. Fuck. I think after this attempt, we'll go level up. Because I do have enough souls to get one level. Cursed magic sword. Oh, I meant to do leave. What? Whatever. All right, one more try, and then we'll level up. Because I can do, like, dexterity or something. Uh, for a thousand. Strength would be better, but I don't really want to grind uh, souls in a different area. Greedy. I didn't need to go for that hit, and I did. Seamus, hello. Lurking and watching Fantastic Beasts? I hope you enjoy it. The first one was pretty good. The second one... I hear they're making another one, which is kind of interesting to me, considering all the drama. Oh, God. Those are the worst. That's the worst damage. Like, that's what feels the worst. It's like, you just want to keep this guy on fire. As long as he's burning, he's taking damage. And then just stay away from him the rest of the time. <sighs> We're getting somewhere. I imagine this is a lot harder when you have to actually dodge those things. It seems like he's taking damage. like a very cool and difficult fight. Yeah, I think this is final boss fight. <gasps> Shit. I thought that there was platform there. R.I.P. P.B.
he actually does take damage in those moments. That was weird. He hit his, like, max from the, uh, the max damage you can do in that area while he was on fire. Glad I got a fireball upgrade. Me too. from him when he's like this. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I thought I was dead. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get this. We're going to get this tonight. Feeling good. So we want to go down the center of this one. Because of those two at the end. Alright, only one health, but we'll see how far we get. Dang, okay. You gonna go? <laughs> oh, that feels cheesy. Just get them all to queue up in advance. Almost rolled off the edge there. doesn't take damage in those little between spots because he wasn't burning when he got hit with the fireball. Like, he lit up, though, so I don't know. like this frequently in a while and my hands are like really tired from oh you know what my, my hands are tired from climbing today it's not from streaming the last few days it's just from climbing now that I'm thinking about it No. 
I can't believe I didn't take damage there. That was 100% luck. Alright, this one, it's the right one. And this one, it's the center one. Excellent. We're going into this part with two health. What a step up. I'm getting really close. I'm getting really close to getting him. I don't think it'll take very long. I think it's gonna be one or two more attempts, and then I think I'm gonna get him. Maybe, maybe three or four. We'll see. But I just don't think it's gonna be super long. Yeah, I got this. I'm feeling confident. Yeah, I don't I don't know if he actually takes damage there. I don't think he does. We can we can do this without taking any damage. This part's easy. Stay to the right. Cross. Dash. 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 No hit run. Let's go. so good those swirly things they're they're tough because for some reason my eye doesn't predict where it's gonna go um four hit run let's go <laughs> I also wonder if games like this would be easier on, uh, with a keyboard and mouse than controller, but I've been... I didn't hit the button. Um... I've been using a controller the whole time, so I don't want to, like, change at this point. Yeah, it's, you know what, this one's just a practice one. If we can get to that part with the squiggly line, that's the hardest part so far, I think. To do with no hits.
trying to pay more attention to where those uh, those beams go. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Dang it. We're gonna finish this game tonight. I refuse to not. Yeah, they definitely have a wave pattern, which is weird. No hit run. This is it. This is it for real. This is the real no hit run. Cutting it awfully close on that door there. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. get this. I'm getting better at the actual fights, though. At this point, I just need to, like, refine everything. Is this PB? I think this is PB. I don't remember this part. That's not too bad, as long as you don't stop moving. What? This- I shouldn't be back here. Where am I? What's going on? Oh man, everything is destroyed. Oh no, what happened to our doorman? Doorman! Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me? To repeat the same things over and over? To what end? What's the point? If we all have to die eventually. I suppose I will never know. Yeah, it got real creepy. Because I will never die.
Sir, what are you doing? The last lord. Ho oh, ho. Was that just the opening to his his fight? All right. Oh, but I'm at full health. Okay. have a little combination of every boss in this fight, huh? Oh, this is cool. <gasps> oh, man. You're stressed just watching. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. Oh. Also, I've got like this really annoying, like, st not quite a stomach cramp, but like right on my rib cage, and it it hurts. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh. But I was suddenly like, okay, don't take any super deep breaths. It'll hurt. Okay, things going away, though. Weird. Super weird cramp. That's fine. Just stretch. Everyone take a nice stretch real quick. Prevent those cramps. Oh, snap, crackle, pop in the shoulder. Okay. Shake out your wrists. All right. Do do some flicks, and then grab, and then shake it out. Okay. It seems kind of fitting that our final boss battle is here ran right into that. Damn it. Oh, Allie, I know. Do you watch, uh, like, chiropractor videos? Because every now and again, I'll fire one of those up, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I really need to, to book something. On TikTok, yeah. Nice. The bad dodge. Oh, unfair. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. I like this guy's armor, though. The, like, rainbow shiny is very nice. think that the uh, the cathedral boss was like the coolest like in terms of 
unusual design and stuff. Like, the, my favorite to actually fight was probably Betty. I liked Betty. I think Betty was a fun fight. But, um... We never saw anything like that giant cathedral that we fought towards the start of the game ever again. Which is kind of a shame, because it, it was so cool. So every time I go this way, I get caught by that one. Okay, so stay in the corner there. Closer though, we're we're getting there. We're chipping away. Oh, and I for oh shit, but I can't upgrade anymore because the guy's gone. Damn. <laughs> Spam, spam. Spam, 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 spam. God damn it. Spam, 
Spam, spam, spam. Please. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. GG. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. <sighs> Hell yeah. Okay. Please. Forgive me. We got him. We did it! Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage. The last Lord of Doors. To some, they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator, they will be remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world and their unwavering determination to evade death, no matter the cost. Their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say that any of us would have done? Who is to say what any of us would have done, given the same choices as this lord? Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Their time in this world is over. <laughs> Restored order. Oh, we did it. This was so pretty. This was really pretty. What a lovely game. And there's more that I want to go back to also. Like I want to go and hear the song that the that the guy wrote. This game was really cool. I recommend checking this out. If if like any of what you've seen has been interesting to you, I I recommend just playing it. It's very very good. Um It's on Game Pass. Aw, this is so lovely. But yeah, I was kind of thinking about this last night when I was streaming, where the only thing about this game that I kind of took as a criticism, I think it has more to do with its genre than the game itself. And that's just that I can see a bunch of different games in this game. Um, but... I, I think it's less that it's copying those other games and more that that's just a genre now. So, what it does, it does very well. Um, the story I thought was really interesting. It wasn't too complex, but, uh, and, and so like the, the gameplay really 
complemented the story quite nicely. Um, it's cool. I thought it was going to be a little bit more open-ended, but it very much just like came to a very specific narrative conclusion, which I'm fine with. I kind of dislike when games are open-ended, to be honest, so I'm, I'm actually quite pleased. I don't like when it's ambiguous and you have to decide what you think happens, you know? I, I just, that feels cheap to me. But I really liked this. This was very, very good. I'm glad that I got to play it. For two whole dollars that I spent on Game Pass. But I would definitely rebuy this. I, I would buy, actually just like buy a copy of this to play it again in the future. Um, I could see myself really like getting this on Switch and then just grinding to, to find all of the secrets and get all the upgrades and stuff. Because there was a lot of stuff that I didn't find. It's a heavy one. <laughs> oh shit, I get to play a little more. While we no longer have access to the soul vault, I can still use excess soul energy to enhance your combat abilities. Oh, okay. Let's get the final strength upgrade then. It's cool. Ah, I love I love these. I love these. And here's the here's the next question for y'all. Should I start Horizon Forbidden West tonight? I would only be able to play it for like an hour or two. But we could get through the prologue. It seems there are still 12 shrines that you've yet to find. To find them, they will surely need uh, help on your quest. Yeah, see, there's a lot of stuff I missed. Well done, friend. I never doubted you for a second. It will take some time for the world to heal and for order of nature to be restored. We crows will aid the process in any way we can. All this time I spent in a meaningless job serving a leader who almost certainly never cared about any of us. It's like a difficult thing to process. Sounds familiar. But I'm hopeful for the future of the workers I managed and for the future of the world. Although slightly anxious about what comes next. Also very relatable. Very relatable. Thanks to you, the world can begin the process of healing and being rebuilt. I'm excited to see what comes next. We ran away from the Hall of Doors before the boss showed up. It's weird, these crows always know what's coming next. Kinda gets my guard senses tingling. They say their info comes from their shrine to a higher power. Makes you wonder. Say go for it? Maybe I will. I didn't do audio balancing or anything, but... That's a heck of an impressive feat that taking out the boss. I hope your, our lives don't end up worse as a result of all this chaos. I do want to look around a little bit, see if anything has like changed. This way, the frozen canyon. Exercise caution. Have we been this way? I don't know if we've gone this way. Oh, rip. Oh, I see how it is. No!
I just noticed the, uh... The sound of the clock ticking in the background. seems like very fast. Close. Oh, and there's a vitality crystal, I see. That would be a good spot to end this game on. Yeah! Give me that shrine! Man, my Twitch keeps crashing. That's fine. As long as OBS isn't crashing, who cares? The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. To, uh, the completed crystal fills your soul with vigor, raising your vitality. Oh, God. That's so nice. If only I'd had that for the final boss. That is the other thing, is that because all the secrets and everything were not very linear, it was it felt a little bit challenging to level up, and I... I was a little stuck there. Um, where if I wanted to... Uh, what am I saying? It was, it was difficult to decide if I wanted to go back for something or not. Also, I'm assuming red means that there are collectibles that I haven't gotten. But let's check some other areas to confirm there are other colored doors. Be very curious to know. Well, nothing this way. I think seeing more weapons would have been nice, too. More melee weapons. Yeah, it, that's my guess, is that everywhere there's a red door, there's like a collectible I've missed. Okay. Well, awesome. I... am gonna have a quick break. I'm gonna go grab... Uh, some more water, and um, maybe get maybe get this PS5 booted up and see if we can start Horizon. Ah, uh, I'm really excited to play Horizon. If, as you can tell, um, but I think we should do it. I think we should do it. Um, I'll uh, give me like five minutes. I'm gonna go grab some grab some stuff and uh, get get stuff booted. I am going to need to adjust the audio on the fly. It's just that's just how it's going to be. But um it shouldn't be too tricky. We'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. <laughs> 